You mentioned a couple of things that I'd like to hone in on, one being community. Uh, and I found a real community in this city that I now call home. Uh, and it's funny because I'll always love Birmingham and that's really defined my personality and worldview. When I go back there, it always feels like home, but living there as an adult, it never really kind of gelled with me because I just, you know, I've got the happiest memories of a childhood spent there. And then I'm, you know, was in my early twenties working on Kerrang Radio, living in the city. And that was like as good as Birmingham was ever going to be for me. And so now when I go back, it's nice to kind of check in and touch base, but I feel like that part of my life has, has happened and done, never found a home in London. And, and here in Bristol, there's just a few little pockets of, of friends that, you know, from different areas of my life that all service and kind of plug into this same sense of peace and belonging and you were telling me that you feel the same with Woodstock where you live now as well it seems like we've both found this you know sense of peace and belonging finally at pretty much exactly the same time mm. in our respective little neighborhoods that we we now find ourselves in so tell me about Woodstock a bit yeah so I think for me the moment was this you know being absolutely exhausted coming home from tour and then I went right into some DJ gigs supporting Purple. You know, Purple was putting on these crazy parties at this bar she works at. And I don't even want to just call it a bar, a bar lounge like experience. It's just a little crazy, little woodsy, jungly type bar in the heart of Woodstock. Um, and just doing these events that were packed. Like people, it was like pretty much like mini raves. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun, but it was a little difficult for me to fully take it all in because I was exhausted from tour. You know, I literally had six hours of a day before I went into gigging and DJing and it was all setting up lights, setting up, you know, equipment working harder than I worked on tour when I got home. But in retrospect, it was incredible, but we had this moment where, um, you know, we went out to brunch the day after one of the performances with a couple of the performers that stayed in our house. And we went to this place we always go to downtown in the, uh, in the heart of Woodstock called Per Moon. It's just a great place, great brunch, good vibe. They usually have either jazz, live jazz music or like bluegrass music playing while you're eating breakfast. It's super cool. <clears throat> so we're there. I order my coffee. I get a Bloody Mary. The music's playing. I look at this table full of my friends and tears just started coming out of my eyes. And nobody noticed. And I just had this all-encompassing feeling of I belong here and you know as much as I love to tour and I do feel like I belong in my band you need balance you need peace and I hadn't really felt peace until that moment that one moment where I knew oh yeah my house is down the street I'm at a table full of people that support me and care about me and genuinely when you know when they ask me how I'm doing they sit and they listen and they take the time and they understand that I'm living this crazy gypsy life and then i leave purple behind and they support her and it all just kind of hit, hit me and i'm just sitting there tears rolling down my eyes and then you know a couple people notice i'm like it's just just good to be home and i never really had that feeling honestly for most of my adult life i never really felt like i had a sense of home and i'm starting to feel that you know i go around downtown woodstock here and people know my name you know i go into a bar they know the drink i like the drink and that might sound silly to some people, but that means a lot to me. So having that feeling of home, like I belong here, I can breathe deeper, and I've got friends that support me and understand me, that means a lot to me. It's huge. 